Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Persona 3 Portable. We're in episode 2. A lot happened in the last one. Go and check those out if you haven't already. And uh, today we're just going to continue on. We are probably going to be getting to the dungeon for the first time today. So that's going to be exciting. Let's go. Uh, morning. Um, thanks about yesterday. Akihiko-senpai's injured too. And I was really uneasy about working alone with Mitsuru-senpai. An uh, injury? Yeah, Akihiko-senpai was attacked by a shadow on the day that you collapsed, too. He said that he injured his ribs a little. Yukari began talking to you in class. <sighs> I thought I was going to fall asleep in there. Can I have a minute? Come to the lounge when you get back to the dorm. I have something to tell everyone. I'll save the details for later. All right, you got it, Mitsuru. Well, she was certainly direct. She's probably busy with things like student council, unlike us. Ooh, a little bit of spice in that comment, huh? Now, we've heard that uh, her dad had something to do with the Kurijo group, which is uh, her family's company, Mitsuru's. So there might be a little bit of a spice there. Ooh, Yucatan. Do I sense some hostility? You do, Junpei. It seems that Junpei was listening, too. Well, it's not that I don't like her. She's just... Class has ended for today. There seems to be something important going on at the dorm. You decided to go back early. Dormitory, fourth floor, command room. Mitsuru and Akihiko are already here. Welcome back. We were waiting for you. There's someone I want to introduce. Huh? Hey, hurry up. Hold your horses. This is freaking heavy. <laughs> Who could that be? <laughs> What's up? What's up, Junpei? Junpei? Why are you here? This is Junpei Iori from Class 2F. He'll be staying here as of today. He's staying here? You've got to be kidding me. Ah, oh, poor Yukari. I bumped into him the other night. He has the potential, but he just awakened to it recently. I told him about us, and he agreed to help. You have the potential? <laughs> For real? He found me crying like a baby <laughs> at the convenience store, <laughs> surrounded by a bunch of coffins. Yep, yep, that sounds about right. Also, the, uh, was, was, I mean, we gotta go back to Persona 1 and 2, but, um, Yukari, was she the first for real? Was she the first for real? Somebody let me know. I don't remember much, but man, that's embarrassing. He said that's, you know, completely normal in the beginning. Ryuji would be proud. Like being confused and not remembering anything. Did you guys know that? <laughs> uh, didn't happen to me, man. Big deal. <laughs> it happens to everyone else. <laughs> but man, I was shocked to find out about you guys. I'm special. I had no idea. I'm glad I'm not the only one. It could get kind of lonely, you know? I'll bet you're stoked too, right? Having me join? Huh? Uh, yeah. Junpei has joined Seas. Well, enough with the introductions. I think we're about ready. Okay, everybody's here. For a long time, Mitsuru and Akihiko were the only Persona users we had. But that number recently jumped to five. Therefore, starting tonight at 12 a.m., I'd like to commence the exploration of Tartarus. Tartarus? What's that? Sounds like toothpaste. Uh, you haven't seen it, Junpei? Hmm? It's no surprise, since it only appears during the dark hour. The dark hour? Just like the shadows. Interesting, huh? And it's the perfect place for us to train. You can think of it as a shadow nest. Whoa! Their nest, huh? But, Senpai... What about your injury? Since Akihiko hasn't fully recovered yet, he'll only come as far as the entrance. Yeah, I know. Relax, I've got your backs. I'm not so sure about this. What about you, Mr. Chairman? I'll stay here. As you know, I can't summon a persona. Gekukon High School, front gate. This is it? This is the place? Why here? Just wait a few minutes. It's almost midnight.
Yeah, the blood coming off of it is a little bit unsettling, not gonna lie. A little bit Escher-esque. This is Tartarus, the labyrinth that reveals itself during the dark hour. Uh, labyrinth? What are you talking about? What happened to our school? Once the dark hour passes, everything returns to normal. This is the nest you were talking about? But why? Why'd our school turn into a giant tower? You don't know either? No. I'm sure it's complicated. Well, maybe now we'll find out. Mitsuru and I have only gone in to take a peek. This'll be our first time exploring it. Exciting, isn't it? There has to be some sort of clue in here about the dark hour. Akihiko, I respect your enthusiasm, but you won't be accompanying us today. I know, you don't have to remind me. Man, he is itching for it too. So this is Tartarus. You decide to enter the tower. just as cool on the inside. But it sure is creepy. This is only the entrance. The labyrinth lies beyond the doorway at the top of the stairs. First, we'll have you three get a feel for this place. Why don't you go have a look around? What? By ourselves? We're not asking you to go very far, and I'll be feeding you information from here. We're also going to appoint a leader to make any necessary decisions. For real? <laughs> there it is again. Oh man, the writers just love it. One of us? Oh, oh, me, 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 pick me. Pick me. Uh, <laughs> you're in charge. Oh, thank you. Wait, 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 why him? He doesn't look like a leader. But he has fought them before. Yeah, have any of you killed a shadow? Because I've killed two. Three, technically, if you count the big one. I don't know how much I had to do with that, though. Seriously? That's true, but there's another reason. You two. Can you summon your persona without any difficulties like he can? Yeah, of course I can. I think so. These are shadows we're talking about here. Without your persona, you're screwed. I'm aware of that. Alright, let's head inside. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> That's the spirit. You decide to go through the entrance. A strange door is sitting in the corner of the lobby. What's the matter? The velvet key in your hand is shining. The key fit into the door's keyhole as if it was being sucked in. I've been waiting for you. The time has come for you to wield your power. The tower that you are about to venture into. How did it come to be? For what purpose does it exist? Ah, uh, regrettably, you are not yet capable of answering these questions. That is why you must be made aware of the nature of your power. So, what is the nature of my power? Your power is unique. It's like the number zero. It's empty but at the same time holds infinite possibilities. Just like the full card. You are able to possess multiple personas and summon them as needed. And when you have defeated your enemies, you will see the faces of possibility before you. There may be times when they are difficult to grasp, but do not fear. Seize what you have earned. Your power will grow accordingly. Be sure to keep that in mind. My spare time will soon be scarce, but please, come again of your own accord. I'll tell you then about my true role, the manner in which I can best assist you. Until then, farewell. Hey, are you alright? Yeah, what's up? You look like a zombie. So, I opened this door and... Huh? What door? You mean you can't see it? <laughs> Man, are you loco? They don't seem to see the door. Have you been nodding off? You seem kind of out of it. Dude, you're supposed to be our leader. Get your head in the game. Come on, let's go. Alright. So even though we've all awakened a persona, they do not have the same experience with the Velvet Room as we do. You can check your own status by pressing the command menu button. Also, you can save your progress by accessing the clock to the left at the entrance. 
You can also pay money to heal by accessing this uh, clock. Okay. So I'm pretty sure that those heals cost a lot of money. So we probably won't be using it too often. But if I remember correctly, it's really expensive. <laughs> I keep equipment that helps me search for information in there. Please don't touch it. Since Yukari and Junpei have no real experience in battle, make sure you back them up. Don't worry, I won't push you too hard. You'll be just fine. Alright, let's do this. I'll prove that I should be in charge. So, this is Tartarus. What are you doing? There's nothing over there. Come on, let's go. Alright, we have our save. It's some kind of device you've never seen before. It doesn't seem to be functioning right now. We'll figure out more about that later. But, for now, I believe it's time to go in. We'll check out the menu real quick. So, Makoto, Agi, and Bash. Let's see, Yukari, looks like she's got our Dia, our heal. And Junpei has a physical cleave. Alright. Um, let's see, how do I... I don't remember what the other personas' names are for them. There we go, so you got Ayo. And Junpei has Hermes. So we've got a whole uh, Greek theme going on here. Yeah, maybe in between episodes I'll do a little bit of research on each of them. I know some basic things about, like, Hermes and Orpheus, but uh, I tend to like to do research before I uh, discuss things, so... Are you ready? I'm ready. Good luck. Inside Tartarus. So, this is it, huh? I hope I don't get lost. Can you all hear me? Whoa, is that you, Senpai? I'll be providing audio backup from here on out. Wait, y you mean you can see inside here? It's my persona's ability. I'd like to join you, but the structure of Tartarus changes from day to day. That's why outside support is imperative. Well, that makes me feel a whole lot better. Now, based on your current location, you can expect to encounter enemies at any minute. They shouldn't be too tough, but proceed with caution. Practice makes perfect. Right. Got it. Why is she always like that? Let's begin. Keep in mind these are real battles you'll be engaging in. Now, see if you can eliminate all the shadows wandering around on this floor. Alright, dude, this doesn't look half bad. You know, obviously, like, uh, they could have put a lot more work into this, uh, remaster, but, uh... It looks nice. It looks nice. Defeat all the shadows on the floor. Okay, so that's me pushing square. Um, let's see, which button actually swings the sword? Okay, it's X. Watch out, I detect a shadow in front of you. Move in and hit it before it attacks you. Press the action button to use your weapon. If you can hit an enemy before it hits you, then you'll have the advantage at the start of the battle. Takeba has informed me about your power, but nevertheless, you have minimal combat experience. Would you like me to explain the basics of battle? You know what? Um, you know what? I'll let it do this for uh, anybody who's new to the series. Yes, please. The primary offensive options available to you in battle are attack and skill. Attack corresponds to the weapon you've equipped, while skill relates to your persona's abilities. Those skills consume either stamina or spiritual power. They tend to have a greater effect. Use whichever option best suits the situation. Keep attacking until you've defeated the enemy, but pay careful attention to your stamina. That's it for now. Did you get all that? Sure did. Okay, then I want you to defeat the enemy before you. Try using both the skill and attack options. Alright. I gotta start figuring out which direction does what. Because it's, it's always the opposite. I hate that. I should see if I can switch that. So when I push up, it goes down. When I push down, it goes up. I hate that. I'll have to see if, there, if we can change that. <laughs> Good, nice. Let's get him! 
Hard mode, my ass. <laughs> Okay, we got a Snuff Soul. That's an SP item. Hell yeah, dude. So SP is, um, well, valuable. And you don't want to overuse it necessarily. And SP items are also incredibly valuable, so. There should be a staircase nearby. Do you see it? A staircase is the only way to proceed to the next floor. I can't allow you to go any higher today, but please remember about it next time. Okay. There's another shadow ahead of you. You'll be at, at a disadvantage if the enemy gets the first hit in, so try to surprise your opponent and strike first. If you were able to strike the enemy before you were spotted, then you will gain the initiative. On the other hand, if the enemy hits you first, the opposite will occur. All right, we're gonna have to work on that. <laughs> Now's a good time for me to explain about attack properties, which are important to consider during battle. Do you want to know more? Yes, please. Nearly every type of attack is associated with a particular property. So I'm pretty sure this is the um, piercing, slashing, and whatever the third one is. For example, swords can be used to do slash yeah. attacks, while bows are used to do pierce attacks. Skills, on the other hand, have different Okay, properties. there isn't a third. Bufu, for instance, indicates an ice attack. Now, most enemies are vulnerable to certain types of attacks. A fire skill will deal greater damage to an enemy that's weak against fire. With my power, I can analyze an enemy to determine its weaknesses and strengths. That falls under tactics. Do you follow? I follow. The enemies you're facing have a weakness that you can exploit. Why don't you give it a try? Okay, so let's go to tactics. Analyze. Roger. I'll attempt to analyze the enemy. And so basically you just keep on uh, doing your moves and eventually she will analyze them and tell you what their strengths and weaknesses are. So that does function a little bit differently than it has in other games. In the meantime, let's go ahead and try Augie, see if it's a weakness. You exploited the enemy's weakness. Sure did. A wisely chosen attack. Here's a chance. Let's get him. All right, and uh, the game hasn't really taught us this yet, but just like in other Persona games, you, uh, if you drop a bunch of people at the same time, then you get an all-out attack. So get back here, you son of a this game is very much about using buffs and debuffs properly, and also uh, using weaknesses, abusing weaknesses. Very, very important stuff. There seems to be a shadow just around the corner. Approach carefully to avoid being spotted. The map will prove to be quite useful as you explore, so use it often. Were you able to exploit the enemy's weakness in the last battle? I sure was. If you didn't already notice, doing so will also grant you an additional attack. Would you like more details? An enemy will lose its balance if you exploit its weakness or land a critical hit. This will give you the opportunity to perform an additional action. In other words, you'll get to do one more thing. You can keep attacking the same enemy, or if you prefer, attack a different target. And if you succeed in knocking another enemy off balance, then you can act yet again, which means you can remain on the offensive for as long as you can keep this up. This strategy is essential to securing victory. However, remember this. An enemy that's already lost its balance cannot be knocked off balance again. You can't knock down someone who's lying on the ground, right? It's the same idea. Now, to knock an enemy off balance, you need to know its weaknesses. So don't hesitate to ask me for an analysis. I'll be sure to share the results with the others as well. Got it? Yep. Then proceed with the battle. Use what you've learned to quickly dispose of the enemy. Okay. Something else that I'll show off is um, that, let's see. In the original game, you did not have control over your party members. In this game, you can have direct control over your party members, which we will always have on. Roger. I'll attempt to analyze the enemy. All right, so it looks like L1 is our analysis button. Roger. 
I'll attempt to analyze Oh, I see. So until the analysis is actually done, um, we can't check their uh, strengths and weaknesses yet. So even though we kind of know what they are already, it's not like in other games where you kind of like slowly figure them out. You just have to wait for Mitsuru to actually analyze them. Um, since we're not going to be in this dungeon for very long today, we don't need to worry too much about using too much SP. So we're just going to drop these guys. Yes, the enemy is vulnerable. Attack! Yes, the enemy is vulnerable. Let's get him! Get back here, you son of a destruction! Mysterious cards have appeared in your mind. After battle, you will occasionally have the opportunity to select a card from the one shuffled before your eyes. If you pick a card with a persona on it, then you will receive that persona. There are other cards, each of which has a unique effect or reward. Keep an eye on the card you want and try to pick it. So yeah, we're going to try and pick up that persona, which is Pixie, because of course it is. Press the action button when your desired card is directly in front. Okay, so I can't remember what the one on the left is. I think that one's health, I think the middle one is SP, and the one on the right is obviously get a persona. You have welcomed Pixie into your heart. Alright, we got it. Okay, IO has leveled up. Okay, and you're going to learn Augie at level 5. We've got a ways to go for that. I detect a shadow up ahead. How are you feeling? If you or another party member is in bad shape, then use healing items prior to engaging the enemy. If you don't have anything on hand, then ask Takaba to heal you. Press the command menu button to open the menu screen. From there, you can recover HP with skills and items. You can use your friend's skills from there as well, so feel free to do so while keeping an eye on their SP. I believe in the original game, since you didn't have control over your party members, you had to physically walk up to them and ask them to do things. I'm pretty sure that that's how that worked. We can still walk up and talk to people still. I wonder how much Mitsuru Senpai really understands us. Um, and also, correct me if I'm wrong, because really I've only played a little bit of Fez. And, um, honestly, I prefer the gameplay in this one a lot more, if I'm being completely honest. There is a better way to defeat all of your enemies in battle than to attack them individually. You can perform an all-out attack. Would you care to hear more about this? Um, we're way ahead of you, so I think we're gonna say no. the basics of battle. But there's one last thing I need to tell you. Shadows become stronger the further you advance. If you don't think you can win a battle, retreat at once. There may be times, however, when an escape will be impossible. This battle is one of those times. Good luck. Yes! The enemy is vulnerable! Attack! I don't remember if this has a boss fight at the end. We might, we might be a little bit low on uh, SP in the boss fight, but you attacked the enemy's weak point. we'll find out real soon, won't we? But yeah, you can see that my SP is already being Attack drained again. pretty heavily. Here's a chance. So you can kind of see how fast you can go through the SP if you're not careful. Okay, another shuffle time, and uh, let's try and get that Apsaurus. We already got, uh, we already got Pixie. Uh, should be the left. Alright, we're making good progress already. Okay, so our Persona, we've got three of them now. We've got Orpheus, Pixie, and Asperus. And uh, something else that can be important is um, what their Arcana is. So, 
Um, this is a Lover's Arcana, and Apsaurus is a Priestess Arcana. That will become more important a little bit later. Just something to uh, point out. That's odd. Usually there are more shadows on the prowl. Well, at least you gained some experience in battle. Let's go back to the dorm for today. There should be an access point somewhere on that floor. You can use it to return to the entrance. Since there aren't any enemies to worry about, why don't you split up and search individually? Just tell the other party members what you'd like them to do. But if they get too far away while split up, you will not be able to use skills or items on them. Be careful of that. Press the submenu button to issue orders to your allies. When your party members get too far away, their portrait at the bottom right of the screen will darken, and skills and items cannot be used on them. Also, party members may encounter shadows while split up. While they are in battle, you will not be able to change their equipment. Okay, so we push square, and priority is... There's no need to issue that order. Oh, I see. I thought that I thought when I selected that I'd be able to choose between a list of priorities, but no, it's just saying, hey, defeat shadows. Split up. Um, spread out and look for stairs, access points, and items. However, if they are not very strong, they can easily fall prey to the enemy. Be sure to keep an eye on their HP. Everyone, spread out and proceed individually. <laughs> I found the access point. What do you want to do? Stay here okay, for a minute. Then I'll look around some more. Okay, so we found the access point. I just want to make sure that uh, we had a chance to pick up any items. It might be anywhere else. And if I'm not mistaken... I am mistaken. I think uh, I was thinking of uh, Persona 4 Golden. Once you found the floor, you could just uh, quick travel up the floor. Good, you found the access point. Please return to the entrance. Uh, here you go. Obtain medicine. So he did find an item over there. It seems you've returned to the entrance. Welcome back. So, how was it? Honestly, this time it was no problem. We'll see about in the future, though. I see. Well, if you gained confidence, that's the best thing you could have achieved. Wow. I never knew I had that kind of power, but damn, I'm beat. That's because you were bouncing around like a little kid. Yeah, you look pretty tired yourself, Yucatan. I'm still trying to catch my breath, actually. That's the effect of the dark hour. You'll become fatigued more easily. Don't worry, though. You'll adapt. But I'm surprised. You all did much better than I expected. At this rate, they'll catch up to you in no time, Akihiko. <laughs> we'll see about that. In any event, by combining your powers with your teams, you were able to stand against the shadows. You feel a bond forming between yourselves. You felt the power of your heart intensify, as if in reaction to the bond between your friends. And the fool has ranked up to rank two. Just like Yukari and Junpei, you feel tired as well you decide that it would be best to return to your room and rest. I'm feeling tired. Let's go back. Dude, I can't take it anymore. I'm starving. Well, from now on, you'll select your party here before you enter Tartarus. I'll explain the details some other time. Trespien, you did well today. Now let's head back to the dorm. You guys did a great job, but you won't have to shoulder the burden forever. <sighs> if only I hadn't gotten injured. Okay. Let's go ahead and do a save. And let's head out. It will be the next day when you stop exploring and return to the dorm. Would you like to return to the dorm? I would. You decided to stop exploring and return. Hey, you're Makoto, right? Uh, who are you? Man, I knew it. I heard from Junpei that you're pretty close with Yukari-san. Uh, what's up with that? Well, I guess it doesn't matter. I'm looking for someone with a little more experience anyway. By the way, I'm Kenji Tamachika? Tomochika? Tomochika, probably. 
There's a morning assembly, so we better hurry. That concludes the main portion of today's assembly. Next, we'll hear a word from the student council. Please welcome the new president, Mitsuru Kirijo, from Class 3D. Thank you. So, she did get elected. Well, I guess she is the most popular girl in school. Hey, makes sense. You can say that again. There's like some kind of aura around her. Besides, this school's owned by the Kirijo group, right? As I begin my term as student council president, I'd like to share with you my vision for this coming year. It is my firm belief that each of us must accept the responsibility of bettering our school. However, change cannot occur without sustained effort and an unprecedented level of commitment. That is why we must restructure our daily lives to accommodate this lofty goal. I'd like each of you to dig deeply into your well of motivation and reevaluate your convictions, to imagine a bold new future without losing sight of the realities around you. That is the key. I'm certain that many of you have your own visions of the future. For us to reap the full benefits of our education, your participation, ideas, and enthusiasm are essential. Thank you. Dang, that was freaking amazing. So, do you have any idea what you just said? Not a clue. Me neither. <laughs> we live in the same dorm, but it's like we're on different planets. Man, if she asks for my opinion, I don't know what I'll say. Like I said, they're just too damn cool. Alright, today we'll be going over Meiji era literature. Open your textbooks to page 12. You know what? I'm tired of these textbooks. I just went over this novel for in, in the last class. I've got a great poem we can cover instead. Close your textbooks, everyone, and listen. Isolated clouds suspended over the tall snowy mountain peak. You feel tired. Close your eyes for a few minutes. Nah, stay awake. Alright, Kenji, you better not be sleeping back there. You should be ashamed of yourself taking a nap while I pour my heart into reading this poem. For that, you get another essay along with your regular assignment tonight. I'll expect a slice of cake when you turn it in, too. And don't cheap out with the store-bought stuff like last time. <laughs> you stayed up and listened to the lecture. And our academics have increased. Feels good. Class is ended for today. As of today, you'll be able to use your time after school as you wish. If you have established social links, you may wish to spend time with those individuals. Also, there are many places you can go to in the area to raise your charm, courage, and academics. Be sure to look around in town as well as in the school. All right, we have a little bit of freedom here. We have not had this. So uh, let's start by doing a quick save here. And today we do have some things that we're going to be doing. Uh, do you tend to get lost in school? Do I tend to get lost in school? Yes? Where are you headed? Oh, it's just she, she's helping us find places. Gotcha. Leave this room and go down the stairs to the right. Then go through the double doors on your right hand side and head straight. You know, rumor has it that the sub menu button is convenient for getting closer to your destination. I don't know where you'd find that sub-menu button, though. Alright, third wall. Dude, Mitsuru Senpai's speech this morning was crazy. I heard no one was even close to her in the election. Considering her background, I don't know why they bothered. Let's face it, we're all just plain ordinary compared to her, man. I hear that starting on the 24th, some athletic teams will be recruiting new members. Just the track team, kendo team, and swim team, though. The others are full. If you're interested in joining, why don't you go check it out? Go down the stairs to the right and eventually you'll find it. Well, being on a diet sucks. Maybe you didn't notice, but I look different than I used to. Hey, new guy. What do you think of the girls here compared to your old school? Honestly, man, they're so much better here. I knew it. Our school has tons of hot chicks. <laughs> Alright. All right, so I think I remember most of the layout here. I think art is over here. No, PA room. Okay. Classroom, classrooms. Is the art room somewhere here too, though? Maybe it's downstairs in the same 
area. Because I think we're upstairs right now. Or... I don't know where we are. Yes, I think so. Anyways, we'll figure it out. My parents always nag me to, like, study for exams and stuff. They're so annoying. I just became a junior. I'm supposed to be having fun. They just came into some money, so they're getting all strict about my future and junk. I know, right? PA room. Student council room. It's locked. When you were absent, there was an election for student council president. Mitsuru Senpai's speech was so cool. I voted for her. Everyone else looks so small compared to Mitsuru Senpai. Ah, Mitsuru Senpai. Yep, she's definitely uh, popular. She said she's going to quit being a high schooler. Well, it's her life, not mine. School, School's barely started and there's already been a student who quit. She only had two years left. What'll she do if she doesn't even graduate from high school? Okay, that's out to the main lobby. Now, let's see. That goes to the rooftop. The flowers seem like they're about to wilt. That feels like a loaded gun, doesn't it? I don't even remember what that's about, but... <laughs> First floor corridor. I think this is uh, what takes us over to the sports area. That tree seems special for some reason. I wonder why it's there. Does it commemorate something? Small trees growing here. You wonder what kind of tree it is. Indoor pool. Gymnasium. And field. So yep, those are the sports clubs. What do you want? I'm using my cell now. Talk to me later, okay? Sorry, man. Art room. There it is. Sorry, but the art club is no longer accepting new members. Laboratory. By the way, the sign on the door to home economics looks like it was written in another language. It's hard to read. It doesn't look like English. And if you listen close, you can hear mysterious voices inside. It's one awfully mysterious home economics class, let me tell you. Okay, dark room for the photography club. Sorry, no longer accepting. Music room. That's the home ec. It appears to be a mixture of Japanese and some other language. In order for you to understand it, you need to improve your academics. You must be at least average. Okay. Out to the main lobby. And so this would take us to the upstairs. Yep, takes us right back. This is our classroom. Just trying to give you guys a sense of the area as well. This is where we can, you know, buy some stuff, I guess. I think there's a specialty one that shows up on a specific day. And I can't remember which one it is. And I can't remember why it's important. It might be an SP item. Um, with that in mind, actually, um, those of you who know, in Persona 4 Golden, there were the vending machines that had the SP items that you could pick up. Um, is there, what is the equivalent of that in this game? Is there a place that I should be getting SP items as I go through this game? Because um, I honestly do not remember. And uh, if there are SP items that we can pick up, um, I should be grabbing those whenever possible. Okay, student council election. We got our midterms in 518 to 523. All right, we, we got a month. Final, 714 to 718. Okay, we've already been to the faculty lounge. There's a saying, he who hunts two hares at once will catch neither. That means a student like you who's always trying to do two things at once will... The teacher continues to scold the student. He sounds like he knows what he's saying, doesn't he? Well, listen to this. Last year he was dating two women at the same time. But the thing is, they worked together. And when they found out, they both dumped him. Yeah, that's pretty dumb. <laughs> Not a smart move, bro. I came here because I'm not feeling too good. I just wanted some cough drops, but he gave me this weird looking medicine. 
I wasn't in the mood to gather my courage, so I declined. And he busted out another weird medicine that I'd never seen before. Nurse's office? How can I help you? Hmm? 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 However, keep in mind that you are interrupting my, um, scholarly pursuits. You seem healthy enough. My eyes cannot be deceived. Get back to class. It seems he will only see you if you are sick or tired. <laughs> Alright. Don't worry. We'll be back to see him. Alright. That's the school. Let's go out to the courtyard. He ran into Junpei at the entrance and decided to go home with him. There's a commotion at the front Look, gate. It's Akihiko-senpai! Wait for us! <sighs> Have you noticed how popular Akihiko-san is with the ladies? Man, take a look at that. I didn't used to talk to him much, but now I've got a good excuse. I know, he's the captain of the boxing team, but who would have thought he'd be such a chick magnet? I mean, come on. You don't even see girls flock like that on TV. I want... Whoops, my bad. Hey, are you guys free this afternoon? Huh? Who, us? Hell yeah! What you got in mind? I want the two of you to meet me at Polonia Mall. You know where it is, right? I'll be at the police station. See you there. The... the police station? You mean we're not hanging out with your friends? Who, these girls? I don't even know their names. They talk so much they give me a headache. Anyway, I'm gonna head out. Don't keep me waiting. Oh, why can't he be more friendly? <sighs> Those poor ladies. Man, how can he not know their names? I mean, seriously, just look at them. Ah, oh, well, let's go. Akihiko asks you to meet him at the Pal Polonia Mall police station. You decided to head over there. I have this strange feeling that someone's watching me. <sighs> Female student continues to sigh. Is it her? She's looking right at you, bro. She's looking right at you. You know how every school has at least one mystery that no one can solve? Obviously this school has its share. Like the sculpture in the art room that moves by itself. It sounded cooler in my mind. I'm waiting for my boyfriend. We're going to Hagakure. Alright. Now we can choose locations from here. And uh, we're supposed to meet at Pelonia Mall. Everywhere you look, you see young couples. So what are you waiting for? Go after someone. You're still young. You've got no excuse not to be together with some sweetie of your own. Thanks, old man. Hello, young man. Say, have you heard anything about this business of ordinary healthy people changing overnight? Uh, yeah, I've heard about it. Well, obviously, it's all over TV. Oh, okay. No, let actually tell me something, huh? Hey, you don't sound concerned at all. How can you not know about this? You live here. Oh, she's not going to tell us anything. Gotcha. <laughs> oh my, how did I forget to buy shampoo? No rush, just wait for the sale. Isn't Saturday the sale day at... I don't know how to pronounce that. The pharmacy. <laughs> okay, that's good to know. Um, I, Let's see, which one is the pharmacy? Is it this one? No, antiques. That's the pharmacy. Are you here for the arcade? If you want to know about the games here, I can tell you about them. Sure. You can play the quiz game today and try the fortune teller machine. The quiz game is pretty difficult. It's a good way to improve your academics. I'm not sure what good the fortune teller machine does, but I hear you gain some kind of magic powers. Well, that about covers it. Alright, we'll be doing a lot of this stuff. Let's see, power records. Uh, we can come back later, right? Let's go to the police station first. All right, we'll check out that stuff later. So, police station was right here. Let's go. Thank you, sir. Oh, these are the guys I was talking about earlier. Officer Kurosawa. This is Officer Kurosawa. He helps keep our squad well equipped. And this is from Ikutsuki-san. Uh, really? Sweet! 
Yu and Junpei each received 5,000 yen. You can't fight empty-handed, so find something you like. Officer Kurosawa has connections, but these things still cost money. Of course they do. Nothing in life is free. I realize that. <laughs> well, I'll see you later. Thanks again. Yeah, try and tell me this cop isn't shady as hell, selling shit like this to kids. I've been informed about you too. My job is to maintain peace in this city, regardless of the circumstances. I'm just an ordinary police officer, but it doesn't take a genius to know something strange is going on here. I'm only doing what I think is right. By breaking the law and giving weapons to children. Honestly, respect, Kurosawa. We, we truly do appreciate you, my man. <laughs> I don't have that much, but you should be able to find what you need. Weapon, armor, accessories. Um, all right. What kind of accessories do you got? Spirit ring, max SP by 10%. You know I like the sound of that. Um, okay, but... Let's see. I don't really want to spend too much. If I'm being honest. So I definitely need some money for... I actually don't know how much I need. Can I leave? Cool. Only 5,000 yen? I'm gonna take off since I'm in a bad mood now. Later. Alright, so, uh, I'm gonna find out how much money I'm gonna need, cause, uh, today, we're going to go to the movies, and we're gonna take the quiz at the arcade. I'm pretty sure, I know for a fact, I think, that these cost 3,000 yen a piece. I just don't know how much the movie costs. So I just need to make sure that if I'm going to buy something here, that I'm not going to not have enough money for all of that stuff, so. I kind of wish they'd just allow you to regular save, if I'm being honest. Especially out here in the overworld. Like, what would it hurt to have it in the overworld? I understand why they want to do it in the dungeons, but in the overworld it would be convenient for some of the stuff that I'm going to have to do in this game. So let's see, I think it's the Port Island Station, which is where the movie's at. So we're going to come here, and we're going to find out how much the movie costs. You can pass time in the various places around town. Many shops will raise your charm, courage, or academics, if they are high enough. You may meet new people. Okay, 1500 yen, okay. So we need 4500 yen. Whoops. No, let's go back to the town map. We're going to finish exploring Polonia. Look at all the things that are there um, before we move on to other things. So we've got Club Escapade. Not open. We've got Chagall Cafe. You can get coffee for 500 yen. This can increase your charm. You can also work here Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday nights. I don't think we're going to be doing much working. I don't know if working is going to be a part of our uh, schedule. There's too many other things that we have to get done in order to get our max social link run, so most likely that will not be a thing. The healing shop, the B Blue V. 3000 yen program will send you to heaven. Anyone tired will feel better and anyone all right will feel great. Okay? So yeah, you can work part time and get some extra money at just about any of these places. There is a mysterious door in a quiet alley. The Velvet Room. Ah, there you are. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Well, I suppose it's time for me to explain what I really do here. It is my job to create new personas. But in order to do so, I must fuse your persona cards together. In other words, I shall merge them into a single persona. The number of personas you have buried within you is approximately 170. We've never seen a visitor with as many possibilities before. If you establish social links, you may be able to create even stronger personas too. This should prove very interesting. So as you accumulate cards, please bring them to me. If you wish to learn more about fusing personas in more detail, then talk to me so that I may give you some hints. How may I help you? So I don't think we're going to be doing any fusions yet. But you can if you need to.
Okay, so if we need 4,500, yeah, we, we can buy like one thing. Thirty-five to thirty-nine on that. So, do I want more attack, or do I want something that's gonna make me survive better? Okay, show info. So, it doesn't look like there's any extra evasion or anything on this. So, it's literally just whether or not you want to spend a little bit more money or not. So if I spent that, I wouldn't have enough for what I need to do later today. So like 3,500 is as much as I can do. Antique store seems to be closed. Reopen on June 9th. Got a while for that one. Power Records. And we've got the arcade. The games you can play here can raise your academics charm courage or uh, or one of your equipped persona stats. No, we will not. Okay, let's go and check out somewhere else. Alright, so Naganaki Shrine. The water looks crystal clear. It's a huge tree. It's some um, Inari Sushi. When you join hands and wish in front of the small shrine, you can give away one of your skill cards and receive two in return five days later. Join your hands? I don't remember if that one uh, makes time pass. We'll have to figure that one out. It's an offertory box. By leaving money in the offertory box, your academics will increase. If you're in great condition, the increase will be even higher. Time will pass. Okay, so that one tells you that time will pass. This one did not, right? Okay, so that one doesn't um, make time pass. Fortune box. It's under repairs. Let's go to the strip mall. Hi there. Our takoyaki is delicious and it's only 400 yen. It's our own special recipe with no octopus. Want some? My friend has a cat and it's so cute. I want one too, but my mom hates animals. Wild duck burger. The ingredients are a secret. You need a little bit of courage to eat here. <laughs> you can increase your courage by trying new mystery burgers. Closed for termite extermination. Reopen 425. As you can see, I'm just a salaryman. I'm not just skipping work. Okay, we'll go up the stairs. Man, there's just so many things, huh? Vending machines, book on, Hagakure ramen, a sweet shop. We don't need to do all of these things, I don't think. Beef shop. Cool. I just want to show you all everything that's here. Iwatodai Station. I envy you students, it's a new term for you guys. But for cabbies like me, it's the same thing year in, year out. Are you okay? I'm not feeling bad or nothing, just... I feel like I've done it all before, you know? Every year. A little bit apathetic, huh? I have a new teacher, but he's, um... We're already a little into the first term, and it still feels weird to be in the room with him. Uh, why? It's like he doesn't talk at all, even during lunchtime. I'm a 6th grader. I'll be moving on next year, and I'm stuck with a teacher like this. <sighs> Telephone box. 
bunch of pamphlets, more vending machines, and that's the station. Now let's see, does this go anywhere? Just the town map. Okay. Port Island Station, last place we haven't really seen. The best part of this station is, is its size and how close it is to the ocean. We're proud of it. I personally like it a lot. What about you? I think it's pretty cool, actually. I love it. Wonderful. I'm glad you like it. Welcome to Rathlasia. What kind of flowers are you looking for today? Please come again. Oh, hey, Makoto. If I were to give Emery a present, it should probably be something like a bouquet of flowers, right? Yeah, I bet if I gave her something like that, our relationship would get a lot closer. This guy's a weirdo. <laughs> yeah, it, it is, isn't it? Uh, the weather is nice today. <laughs> okay, that's really awkward. Man, school has started. I'm so lazy. Why? Listen, I don't need a reason to be lazy besides everyone gets like this after days off. It's the truth, man. Do you like movies? I love movies. Me too. Movies kick ass. I love them because they're like a microcosm of real life. Okay. Screenshot movie theater. 1500 yen. Check what's showing. A movie marathon is playing. Pump up your brain with foreign movies without subtitles. Tickets cost 1500 yen for high school students. So, this is what we are going to be doing today. You immerse yourself in foreign languages and found yourself unsure if you understood them or not. Academics has greatly increased. It's getting late. You decide to go back to the dorm. Welcome back. Perfect timing. I'd like to speak to you for a moment regarding our exploration of Tartarus. Akihiko is still on the men, so for now I'd like to lead the team. I'd like you to lead the team. You never know when a powerful enemy might appear, like the one you faced the other day. It's best to be prepared or else you may find yourself in a difficult situation. So whenever you'd like to explore Tartarus, just let me know and I'll gather everyone there. Also, since I'm sure there are other things you will need to take care of, you may go out at night if you need to. Well, that's it. Keep up the good work. You are now able to go out at night. We're free! Alright, let's talk to everybody here and then we're gonna end the episode. Well, how Shadows came into this world is still a mystery. I used to be a researcher for Carrijo Electronics. That is the primary reason why I am the chairman of the board. And that is also what makes this dormitory such a convenient location to conduct C's activities. Oh, you should also be aware that I am unable to summon personas. However, in order to perform my research, I was taught how to enter the Dark Hour. So if you need any help, please do not hesitate to ask. Of course, I cannot be of any help. <laughs> yeah, hilarious. <laughs> Officer Kurosawa doesn't have the potential to enter the Dark Hour. He's just an ordinary policeman. But he knows about us and helps out when he can. So why does he help us? Well, to be honest, I don't really know. But he's a police officer, so he's dedicated his life to helping people. Plus, he's a pretty cool guy. Yes, how can I help you? Let's just talk. Those who are unable to experience the Dark Hour are transmogrified during that time. They appear as coffins. Shadows are quite enigmatic. They only attack those who have not been trans transmo transmogrified. Shadows feed on the minds of their victims, leaving them unable to speak. We call this apathy syndrome, and those who suffer from the incapacitated, uh, incapacitating affliction are known as the lost. You turn on the television, who was then immediately sent to the hospital. The man has regained consciousness, but due to his condition, has been unable to speak. Police are awaiting the man's recovery before questioning him. And that's the news for today. Okay, lots of people showing up with this apathy syndrome. I get pretty tired after we go to Tartarus. I feel like I spent all day hiking up Mount Fuji. What about you, Makoto-kun? I mean, as of now I feel fine. We'll see about tonight. Or tomorrow night, I guess. Really? You don't look like you have that much endurance. Rude. <laughs> that was a little underhanded, huh? Hey, you know that thing we used to summon our personas, the Evoker? Well, I was thinking, why does that have to look like a gun? 
I mean, you gotta be a little nutty to point a gun at your head and pull the trigger, you know? He says to the guy who did it without question or instructions. You know, maybe Makoto just really thought he's gonna take himself out in that moment. I don't know, man. All right, so this is where we're going to end this episode. Thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And in the next episode, we are going to be going back to Tartarus. Um, we're not going to be doing it tonight. Tonight, we are going to do the arcade quiz. And then uh, tomorrow, we will be going to Tartarus. So thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good one, everybody. I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patron supporters, Darren York, ZTD, Seventh Son, Len, Knife Namase, Kyle the Monarch, Andrew Smith, Molly, Chris Murphy, JW, and Jordan and Emily Hill. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.